Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So friends, you might be aware of the fact that we also have a series in which what we do, we daily discuss some questions from your prelims perspective. So the name of this series is Let's Solve Some Questions for Prelims 2020. So uh, as is, uh, as its name suggests, so this series is not just about solving the questions, but it is also about your participation. So we do expect that you people uh, would participate in the discussion and uh, will share uh, any additional information apart from the explanations that we give. So if, if in case you have any additional information, then you are more than welcome to comment in the comment box. And also if you have any doubts, queries, you can ask in the comment box. We will promptly revert back to you. So let's start our discussion. So today is video number 17. So the questions that we will be going to discuss today will be from your art and culture topic uh, of prelims as well as mains. So the first question is Patola is a style of a weaving popular uh, in Gujarat, B performing arts in Guru Bayur, C shadow puppetry popular in Marathwada, D temple construction in northern India. So we have to choose the correct answer. So friends, you might be uh, knowing this uh, that, that this is basically a weaving art that is popular in weaving art that, that is popular in Gujarat. So option is A. Uh, so Patola sarees are basically a double ikat woman, uh, woven sari. So usually made from silk made in Patan Gujarat. So they are very expensive and once worn only by royalty and aristocracy. And uh, also they are popular and in demand from the affluent. So they are so unique that the, uh, the, they are the geographical indication, indication tags for Gujarat as Patan Patolas and Andhra Pradesh as Budan Pocham, uh, Pochamal, uh, Pochampalli. So that is very important. So please note this. Uh, uh, the Gujarat has uh, uh, for this got the GI tag and uh, similar such Patolas are uh, <coughs> made in Andhra Pradesh and they are named by the uh, they are they are called Budan uh, uh, Pochampalli so they it is also a GI tag so now let's move to the next question next is which of the following describes Thunni most appropriately appropriately so we have to choose that what is Thunni a it is an ancient form of martial uh, arts practiced in Kerala b it is an environmental conservation technique of the uh, Goda, Godas c it is a harvest festival celebrated in northeastern India d it is traditional law making body of the Nagas so we have to choose the uh, choose the correct answer let me tell you friends the answer is c that is it is harvest festival that is celebrated in northeastern india so it is one of the major festivals that is uh, celebrated by uh, chak singh tribe predominantly by uh, predominantly by the uh, pomai chak singh from Razeba area. So uh, names are quite difficult to pronounce. For the Pomai community in Manipur, Thunni is a premier festival of new harvest. So it is celebrated from January 5th every year and continues for several years. So most importantly, it is a festival of equity. So where both, both poor and rich and old and young share the same barrel of rice, beer and eat the same food. Now let's move to the next question. Next is, which of the following statements about temple architecture in India is incorrect? A. Nagra and Dravida are famous South Indian temple uh, construction styles. B. Visara order was created uh, through the selective mixing of Nagra and Dravida order. C. Panchatayana style of architecture was practiced during uh, Gupta period and D all of the above so we have to choose the incorrect answer so friends let me tell you the incorrect statement is A that is Nagra and Dravida are famous South Indian temple construction styles Nagra is popular basically in um, in North India and Dravida in South India so A is the correct answer uh, so A is in fact uh, a wrong statement so here we have been asked to choose incorrect answer so obviously incorrect statement so A is A is incorrect so Nagra is North Indian style, Dravida is South Indian and Vesara is mixture of both. So uh, temple at Diogar Lalitpur UP is in, uh, in the uh, in the Panchatayana style of architecture. So where the main shrine is built on a rectangular plinth with four smaller subsidiary shrine, shrines at the four corners making it a total number of five shrines hence the name Panchatayana. So it is just similar to like uh, uh, if a uh, main shrine is, uh, is in the mid and uh, it is surrounded on four corners by four subsidiary uh, shrines. So total uh, number of shrines become five so that's why it is called by the name Panchatana. Panchatana. 
So now let's move to the next question. Next is this Buddhist mudra is called the gesture of debate or discussion mudra. It is a mystic gesture of taras and bodhisattvas in which tips of thumbs and index finger touch forming a circle and all the other fingers are extended upwards. Uh, so we have to choose the mudra is A. Vitarka, B. Abhya, C. Varda, D. Shramana, Shram Shramanama, Shramana Mudra. So friends, the answer here is A. Vitarka. So if, if you are aware of, uh, 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 if you know a little bit Hindi, then you might be able to uh, 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 mark correct answer because basically Tark in, uh, uh, in Hindi is referred to uh, reasoning. So uh, obviously uh, uh, debate uh, in debate reasoning is an important part. So A is the answer. So Vitarka Mudra, so this gesture is also called gesture of fearlessness or blessing of fearless mudra. So uh, this uh, option B, uh, the Abhaya Mudra is basically gesture of fearlessness, blessing and fearless mudra. So generally this position is, sh is shown with the palms facing outward and finger extended upwards. This mudra is characteristic of Buddha, uh, Buddha Sakya Muni and Dhyani Buddha Ama, uh, Amoga Siddhi. So more details you can read. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following about Nataraja dancing posture depicted in Chola period bronze culture. First, the dance is associated with the end of the cosmic world. Second, Shiva has been shown balancing himself on his left leg and suppressing the demon of ignorance. Third, Shiva's main right hand is uh, posed in uh, Bhumi Sparsha Hasta. For Tirubhava depicted in sculpture shows the birth of the universe. So we have to choose that which of these is correct. Let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first statement. So the answer is D. That is one only. So here you can see uh, about this uh, Nataraja, uh, uh, Shiva doing Nataraja. So uh, you can read it, uh, read about it in detail. So it is a famous uh, 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 bronze sculpture from uh, from the Chola period. So statement two and th uh, four in, in the bronze sculpture, Shiva has been shown balancing himself on his right leg. So please note that it is his right leg on which he is balancing himself and suppressing the uh, up uh, up uh, up 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 so here is this demon Apsamara uh, uh, and the demon it, it, is, it is basically the demon of ignorance or forgetfulness with the foot of the same leg. So at the same time he raises his left leg in uh, Bujanga, uh, Bujanga Trista stance which represents Thirubhava that is kicking away the wheel of Maya or illusion from the devotee's mind. So here it is uh, uh, with, with right foot he, uh, he is uh, suppressing this demon and with, the, with, with this with this feet, he is uh, uh, pushing away uh, that Maya or illusion from illusion from the devotee's mind. So his forearms are outstretched, and uh, the main right hand is posed in Abhya Hasta, or the gesture suggesting. So you can say here, uh, 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 Abhya, the upper right hand holds the Damru, his favorite musical instrument to keep on the beat Tala. So this this circle indicates basically never ending circle of that cosmic world order. So this is all about friends today's discussion. So if you if your score is uh, three four five, then it is good. But if it is if your score is zero one two, then it is uh, very good because at least you have learned something today. So my simple uh, why I keep on. <coughs> repeating this statement in every video um, uh, the purpose of uh, it is basically to make you aware that don't count your scores in the beginning you are you are here you are supposed to be here to improve yourself so if you if you start counting your scores very first day how how will you improve so uh, your prelims is six months away obviously it is approaching so uh, that might be pressurizing you but the thing is that uh, uh, you you keep uh, once you uh, realize that what is the benefit of seeing video or what is the benefit of listening it or what is the benefit of reading or revising something then you will become aware that okay we don't have to ignore this video some students what they do they 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 they, 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 they say that well, they face the issue of uh, um, low score but then no, then they stop uh, seeing video then obviously that is a kind of wrong approach then obviously how can you improve if you will uh, become aware of more and more facts concepts then only you can improve your score but if the if the very first day you start uh, you started counting your score then that would be a wrong approach 
so don't count your score and uh, uh, please be consistent and uh, do uh, do see these videos because we will be continuing them until your prelims 2020 uh, so uh, more uh, information about uh, uh, this this is additional information basically so we have various series uh, running on our platform for example geography ncrt series polity ncrt series art and culture series series based on am lakshmi kant's uh, indian polity and then there is also series of uh, modern india um, that is based on spectrum publications book so uh, these series are basically in these series what we do we daily give you a target and you have to read that target from the from the prescribed book and when you will read it uh, in the evening you are given questions from it and in this way we complete your uh, uh, entire topic in a time bound manner so this series is specifically valuable for those students who are preparing from home because they face the issue of self discipline or uh, uh, completion of syllabus in a time bound manner so this problem of uh, you people is solved by us by providing these series so we have not just this series geography series but we have also other various other series so if in case you are interested to join then you can use these links and these links will also be provided in the description box so you can check the description box where the links of uh, all the series that we have are, are uh, mentioned so you can choose the series which you want to join and also friends do ensure that you join our telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen and this is also provided in the description box so on this telegram channel we have more than 15,000 students that follow us and they uh, they have access to various public resources that we uh, we people are sharing uh, for the purpose of CSE preparation and also the discussion of these PDFs these MCQs is also uh, available in this telegram channel so if in case you are interested to uh, get access to those uh, resources then do ensure that you join our telegram channel and you will get the link of it in the description box down in the description box so this is all about friends today's video do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead